Unraveling the Neoclassical Trend in English Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language and its myriad expressions. Today, we're exploring a particularly interesting phrase that often crops up in discussions about art, literature, and architecture. The neoclassical trend. If you've ever wondered what this term means and why it's significant, you're in the right place. Let's get started. First things first, let's dissect the phrase neoclassical trend to understand what it's all about. The term combines two key elements, neo and classical. Neo is a prefix meaning new or revived. It signifies a return to something that existed in the past but with a fresh twist. Classical refers to the art, literature, architecture, and culture of ancient Greece and Rome, known for its emphasis on harmony, proportion, and disciplined expression. When we put these two components together, the neoclassical trend refers to a movement or wave of enthusiasm for reviving the styles and principles of classical antiquity, but in a new or modern context. The neoclassical trend primarily emerged in the mid-18th century and gained prominence through the 19th century. It was a response to the overly decorative and complex designs of the Baroque and Rococo styles that preceded it. This movement sought to return to the simplicity, clarity, and symmetry of ancient Greek and Roman art and architecture. Artists and architects during this period looked back to the ancient past for inspiration, aiming to imbue their works with a sense of order, discipline, and moral seriousness thought to be inherent in classical art. Understanding the characteristics of the neoclassical trend helps in identifying works influenced by this movement. Here are some key features. Simplicity and symmetry. Neoclassical works are marked by their clean lines, balanced compositions, and an overall sense of order. Idealized beauty. Unlike the Baroque and Rococo's focus on ornate detail, Neoclassicism embraced idealized forms and proportions based on classical standards. Moral and educational themes. Art and literature often depicted moral narratives or historical and mythological subjects, intended to instruct and inspire the viewer. Use of classical elements. This includes the use of columns, friezes, and pediments in architecture, and references to ancient myths and historical events in art. The neoclassical trend has had a lasting impact on various fields, including art, architecture, literature, and even fashion. Its principles of balance, order, and beauty continue to influence modern design and aesthetics. Moreover, the movement's emphasis on returning to classical ideals reflects a recurring theme in history, the idea that looking to the past can guide and improve the present. The neoclassical trend is more than just an artistic movement. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of classical ideals of beauty, order, and morality. Whether you're strolling through a museum, reading a piece of literature, or admiring a building, the influence of neoclassicism is ever-present, reminding us of the timeless connection between the past and the present. We hope this exploration has shed some light on the fascinating world of neoclassicism and its role in shaping the English language and culture. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video. Remember, learning is a journey, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. Happy learning!